D N A. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Ever wonder what makes you you and me me? Well, let me introduce you to my assistant. The cat of science. Meow. Now, if we take a close look, closer, closer, okay, even closer than that, here we see Mr. Cat's brain. Empty, I know. Wait, but what's that? A single brain cell? If we examine this cell, we find DNA, a double helix polymer that acts as the genetic code for these cat cells. In order for the cat to enlarge its brain, which is never going to happen, it needs to replicate its DNA. DNA is a polymer made of sugar, a phosphate group, in one of four nitrogenous bases. Cytosine, thymine, adenine, and guanine. All of these materials fit together like a ladder and twist to create the helix. In order for the DNA to replicate, it splits the two strands apart using an enzyme called helicase. Helicase runs along the strands like a zipper unzipping a jacket, sending each strand in a different direction. For strand A, the leading strand, going in the direction of the helicase, it's pretty simple. Another enzyme called DNA polymerase walks along the strand, matching it with a whole new side. Adenine to thymine, cytosine to the guanine. Boom! A whole new helix. But the lagging strand fits together in waves called Ozaki fragments. No. Okazaki fragments, as the strand gets farther and farther away from the fork, but more DNA polymerase travel along. The fragments are then connected and then boom! Two full strands of DNA. But DNA is not the only thing that this cat needs. It needs to be able to produce protein. This process of making protein is called protein synthesis. In protein synthesis, there's RNA, which has cytosine, guanine, adenine, and uracil, not thymine. It is a single helix instead of double. The first step in protein synthesis is transcription. Transcription happens in the nucleus. The mRNA slithers along one strand and makes a copy of one side of the DNA and replaces thymine with uracil. The second step is translation, which happens in the ribosome. The strand will move through the cytoplasm and move to the ribosome. Once it gets there, three letters from the code match up with the tRNA, aka the transfer RNA. Those will bring in amino acids that match up with the code. The amino acids are bonded with peptide bonds, and when it is done bringing in the tRNA and amino acids, the strand is finished and creates proteins or polypeptides. Bill? Bill? Oh, uh, that's the show. If you excuse me, I have a new scientific modeling tool to invent. I'm calling it Lego. Bill by the Science Guy!